Scott from Interface Printers. I'm here today to demonstrate the quick and easy way to clean a Ross unit or a dirty laser uh, from the outside. There's also a more complicated way of doing it if you have uh, toner dust that has got into the inside of the Ross unit, you're going to need to do a little bit of a disassembly. That's not what this is. This is simply cleaning out the outside. Um, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is grab a couple of different tools. We've got here a flathead screwdriver, a long screwdriver, in this case a 5.5 millimeter with a piece of paper, uh, paper towel taped to the end. We've got our flashlight, 5.5 millimeter nut driver, and I also have a black trash bag um, doubled over. Uh, to protect our drum units once we pull the drum drawer out. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to grab my 5.5 millimeter nut driver, open up the front door. First thing you're going to do is you're going to open up the main drawer here. There's going to be two screws, one here and one on this side for the IBT belt. Go ahead and take both of those out. Once you've got them removed, we're going to pull out the main drawer here. If you just slide your screwdriver into the small hole here, put a little bit of pressure and then pull out. And then do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now I've got the drawer completely uh, pulled out from the main unit. Now I'm going to go ahead and unlatch the IBT belt in the drum drawer. Let's go ahead and pull the IBT belt out now that we have the screws removed. We're also going to pull out this drum unit here. Now once this drum unit is fully extended, we're going to use our black trash bag or anything that you have, uh, preferably plastic, that you can drape over the top of it to keep the light out. All right, now that I have my cover draped over the top to protect my drums, you're gonna to need to extend the drum drawer. Once again, there's two holes, one on the right side, and then one over here on the left side. Go ahead and pull the drum unit drawer all the way out. What this is gonna allow us to do is to get underneath and inside of the Ross unit, which is gonna be up inside of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down on the ground with my flashlight and my long screwdriver with the paper towel on the end. All right, now as you can see, I'm up underneath the machine inside where the laser unit is. As you can see, I have an awful lot of cyan toner buildup. There is a little bit of magenta and also some yellow. My experience says, um, taught me that the ones that are dirty the most are the magenta and the cyan. So if you'll see the metal plate here, just to the left side of it, there's a small glass window that runs along inside of here. And there's also one back here on the right of the magenta. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my screwdriver and sweep across it and see if we can uh, clean this up. All right, now with my screwdriver, what I'm going to do is you can see why I had you grab a long one is go ahead and just start here on the back side and just move it. You don't want to put too much pressure on it. You don't want to break the window and just slightly with a little bit of pressure, just sweep all the way across the glass window there. All right, now that I've got the cyan done. I'm going to go ahead and do the magenta. It's going to be a little bit more of a difficult angle here. Go ahead and sweep all the way across here. As you can see, I've got an awful lot of toner on the end here. All right, now that we're all done, what we can do is go ahead and remove our drum cover here. 
go ahead and slide the drum unit back in. Be very careful it doesn't catch on the IBT belt here. Okay, the IBT belt actually has a couple of tabs. Go ahead and push the tabs in. Being very careful once again. Go ahead and close this here up. And then we'll push in the main assembly once again. A couple of tabs here. Okay, now we want to make sure this is nice and flush. The IBT belt drawer with your 5.5 millimeter driver. Go ahead and put these two screws here back in. This procedure can be performed on a DocuColor 240, 250, 2 family, a DocuColor 240, 250 family, 260, also uh, some of the work centers, uh, 7655, 7665, and so forth, uh, also on the uh, Xerox 700, 700i, and anything in the DocuColor 250 family which is everything that I just stated. Thank you very much, and I hope this procedure uh, is beneficial to you. Uh, thank you.